Hey guys, today is 13 weeks and I want to make sure I come on here and make this video. Today has been an absolute disaster. Um, so I have some chocolate whipped cream cake. Oh my god. So, where to start? Most recently, the most embarrassing, went to Safeway after work. And I didn't nap, nap today, so I was kind of tired. And when I get tired, I don't know, I can't see. I'm clumsy. You know, the whole, whole nine yards. And, um, <laughs> so I'm about to ready to leave the cashier. And for some reason, the lid wasn't on my water bottle. So my water went flying on the cashier next to me and I was mortified. I was just like, oh my god, this is really happening. Um, so that happened. And I get home. I had also gone to the pharmacy. Prescription wasn't ready. They don't know why. It just was never filled. So that was great. But I only had to wait five minutes instead of the usual 45. I'm just not happy with that pharmacy. Like, I'm going to switch to a 24 hour one because I'm going to go four days on my beach trip with no heartburn medicine, and the heartburn is at, way out of control. So that was fun. And then come back, oh, we don't know why it's ready. No. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna switch and then <laughs> left it in the car live on the third floor so right now I'm just like it can just stay in the car <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and then I had to find out found out I have to work late on Friday I'm just like oh. I'm just getting so stressed out this week and oh just, but on the side nope 13 weeks and baby size of a peach. Symptoms this week are constipation. That's fun and tired. Not so much nausea. Not really craving anything, I guess, other than chocolate whipped cream cake. <laughs> As you can tell, I wasn't gonna get it, and then I'm just like, you know what, screw it. After today, I'm gonna have some cake. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna have some cake. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut this short. Not much to say. Oh, I think I might, my stomach might be getting bigger. I can't tell. Um, I guess it's at that stage where you're like, people don't know whether you've gained weight or you're pregnant. And I'm still fluffy there. It's not like hard or anything. So I'm just gonna say it's fluff. So no pictures yet. Uh, not gonna do pictures of it until I know that's what it really is. Um, oh, and then this Friday, um, well, I got before I said that my OB wanted to send me to the cardiologist to make sure you know everything was okay due to the past history of CHF and all that. I get a call yesterday, oh, you're on the wait list. Well, it would have been nice. No, I'm on a wait list, you know. It's only been two weeks. <laughs> uh, and then it's, oh, well, we only have time, this time on Friday. And, oh, well, I guess I have to just, you know, work late. Because <laughs> I have to, the maternity leave isn't that great for at my work. It's not really a maternity leave, it's just that you know, short-term disability leave where you get only a certain number of times and you don't get paid much. Like 66% of what you made six months prior and you know, starting a new job and stuff. I'm not really sure what that number is going to be, but anyways, um, getting off topic here. Uh, oh, but I wanted to save my PTO, so I'm just going to try to work around it. I can do my own schedule, so that's nice. I uh, hope it's not going to take that long on Friday, but I, when they are on the phone with me, I heard somebody else getting a 10.30 appointment, so I'm just like, oh, this is great. <laughs> I don't even like this doctor already. Um, but we'll see. 
Anyways, just got back from my beach trip and I'm really tired. Hey guys, <laughs> sorry for we look like I just woke up. It's Sunday. Um, not having the greatest day so far. I started out great. I made like bacon and eggs, thinking that would sound really great, and then it just ended up coming back up, which was not fun at all. Um, but I feel better now. <laughs> So, sticking to simple stuff today, like my yogurt, and we'll see <laughs> how it goes. Uh, anyways, I wanted to update you guys on the cardiologist. Um, I was really stressed out for no reason. <laughs> uh, the guy was really nice, they saw me like, right away, but I did get lost, and I guess I was a pregnancy brain. The office was next to the hospital and like the labor and delivery and then I think I went in the wrong door. It was like this long hallway and then there was a door that looked like you had a badge in. So I'm like, oh, I don't think I go there, but that was really where I go in. So I made the wrong turn and ended up in the labor and delivery. I'm like, wait a minute, not yet. <laughs> but I told the ladies, I'm like, I think I'm lost. And they're like, it's okay, it happens to everybody. <laughs> Which I don't think so. I think they were just trying to make me feel better, but <laughs> it was nice of them. And anyways, finally found it. And then they gave me this paperwork to fill out. And before I even spell my name, they called me back. Um, the guy was real nice. I had to get an EKG. Which was more awkward than anything. Um, and he said it showed a, a, an arrhythmia. But it, it, he wasn't concerned about the arrhythmia. I guess lots of people have them kind of thing. Uh, so he wasn't concerned, but he wants to do the echocardiogram just to make sure. Uh, he thinks uh, that the CHF I had before was just like due to my weight and it didn't cause any damage, but that's why he wants to do the echo. It's to make sure there's no damage to my heart. And he said if there is, then you know we'll uh, figure something out if I need or want. A cardiologist there when I deliver then you know they can provide that it's funny he, he said that my OB was his wife's OB so <laughs> small world um but yeah he also said something interesting he said that most women have heart problems big room I think he said 26 weeks now it's because you know even normal people get iron deficiency anemia or anemia I said, well, let me tell you. <laughs> and I said how I was concerned about it, but he said everything looks good. Uh, I think I'm supposed to get more blood work at the next OB appointment, which is like in a week. Um, and I'm going to ask for other things because I need my protein checked and other things because my hair is falling out, like mad falling out. Um, I'm going to up my protein just to see if that's it. I'll, I'll just see how it goes. Um, sorry, it's been it took a little while to get this video up. I've just been really exhausted this week. Can't seem to get enough sleep, and you know this whole pregnancy exhaustion thing. Um, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys next week for week fourteen, where we'll enter the second trimester. It's kind of scary. All right, talk to you guys next time. Bye.